We're rolling. Hey, YouTube. Hi. We're back. We're back in Florida. Back in the garage. Yeah. Smoking my brand new Mark Balkovic. I don't know if you can see with the light, but it is the OMS Special Poker. And, uh, what a good smoker. And I got one, too. We're smoking, uh... And... You smoking the same thing I am? It's the first time that Jason and I had a chance to meet Mark, and... What a guy. Smoking the cellar. Good stuff. Yep, that's, I'm smoking that, too. This pipe smokes by itself. All I gotta do is put it in my mouth, and it just does all the work. <clears throat> got to actually see how Mark makes these paper thin stems and how much work actually goes into it and if you think he just knocks this out it takes him longer to make that stem than it does the pipe yeah and it's serious you know hands on uh much appreciated mark this is very this good is smoker we love it i'd say run out and go get one but you got to check his uh his website, that'll be about the only way you're going to get one anytime soon is if he makes one and throws it up there. Uh, it's worth getting one. But uh, let's see. Let's talk about the trip. If I was you, I'd get one. Good smoker. i say uh, from the beginning, we had a two-hour flight delay. You probably saw all that video. We were drunk in the airport. Drunk. Yeah, a little. All right. And then uh, we got to Johnny's. Johnny picked us up at the airport in Boston. Him and his wife, Maria. Very nice. And uh, that was for Johnny. <laughs> and uh, we just hung out at Johnny's till 3.30. Got in the van. Went to Rhode Island. Picked up Ricky. Uh, Smoke Show 71. Or uh, Smoking Skull Society. Is his new channel. But to me, he's always going to be show. He's a showman. The show. And uh, Rick is an awesome dude. Uh, you don't get to you don't get to meet Rick's real true personality until you're on a road trip with him. Uh, you know, Rick does good videos, but um, there's more to Rick than the YouTube videos. Very generous fella. Yeah. And um, on that, we picked him up, and then we headed over to Jersey. Picked up Nick, and uh, Polish diaper. Nick was nervous, very nervous, and uh, he thought we were gonna rape him. I think. Or I something. don't know. I think he wanted us to rape him. We had fun with with Nick. Nick is a great guy. Nick was the MVP of the trip, most valuable piper. Uh, he was our BA Baracus of the trip. He drove the van navigated we didn't have to worry we didn't have to do shit nick just drove us there it was like he was already programmed to do it that is a specialty that he has um just like a new jersey taxi cab driver yeah he scared me a couple of times but he made us all feel very comfortable in the van where we could actually like nod out and not worry about dying yeah but uh yeah nick was a true asset to the uh road trip uh, yes, you were, Nick. If it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have uh, got or seen as much as we did. So thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. And then from there, we went to Pennsylvania and uh, checked into the travel lodge, unloaded, went to Boswell's. Boswell's, awesome place. Rolled out the red carpet for us. Uh, treated treated us like they were their, like we were their own. Uh, Excellent hospitality. Um, cannot wait to do that trip again. Just to uh, let you know, I like to smoke the uh, little um, Peterson tankards. And JM saw them, and uh, he got, uh, I let him keep my... Uh, Peterson what, tankard? My, well, what is that? It's yeah, a it's black, a black mo... No. The mojo? Mojo, black mojo. Anyway, he I let him keep that overnight. We come in the next day, and he's made three custom pipes for me. 
And um, I bought all three of them. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was very really nice. Cool. Really cool. And we got to see JM's personal museum mm-hmm. of pipe history yeah. and his personal collection and smoking lounge, which uh, not everybody gets to see. Felt very fortunate and thankful to see that. It was awesome. What a lounge! If Man. I if I could design a pipe lounge, it would have been that. Yeah, uh, it had everything mm-hmm. except for naked chicks, which. Um, we almost supplied that. <laughs> Amy. Amy. <Yeah. laughs> Amy. No. She was really cool. We we, we turned a uh, a Cracker Barrel waitress into a piper. Overnight. Yep. Oh. But, uh, hung out at the travel lodge, as you saw Nick's video, probably. My baby boy missed me. Look Nick's video... Me. Doesn't do shit, cause you wait till you see what I got on my phone. <laughs> I've got some video of that boy that he may not want on YouTube. His wife may not want on YouTube. Paybacks are hell, Nick. We're gonna it's, get you. It's no payback. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll give you a brief update. We had a bet, and uh, on, we were gonna have a road trip van bet. And since uh oh, by the way, I got my Sparky Pipes contest winning box. I've not opened it, but I knew there was a Chris Morgan Briar cigar in there. So I took the one that I originally had, brought it on the trip, and I was going to do a dare contest with all the guys. And whoever completed all my, you know, conquest was going to win the Chris Morgan Briar cigar. Well, from what it came down to, the first dare was going to be to uh, empty a Jack Daniels bottle in my belly and then uh, get a nasty-ass fart inside the bottle, cap it, let it... Let it smolder for about 10 minutes. Take the cap off. Have Nick pull a fucking hit off it like a bong hit and hold it for 10 seconds. Exhale. That'll win you a Chris Morgan Briar cigar in my bets. He was down for it. Uh, my gas chamber just wasn't uh, that strong that <coughs> night, so I came up with something else. And, and I wanted to have Nick get out of his shell. Nick is a safe person. Nick is cautious. He worries. He stresses out over some little bullshit. And I wanted Nick to unleash. I wanted him to feel a rush and live a little. And that boy lived this weekend. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. He's like a little baby that's growing up to an adult. We had him running, if you can imagine yeah. that. Nick did cardio in my... In my uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you all what he had to do. But uh, I didn't really capture that much video. Maybe some small stuff on my phone, a little bit on the camera. I, I was just... I needed to let go, unwind, release, and the last thing I wanted in my hand was a video camera. I I didn't really care. I just wanted to have fun with all the guys. So I didn't get that much video. The video I did was of just us fucking off and fucked up shit. (laughs) I got a lot of pictures, though. So on, you know, my video edit, it's probably going to be kind of like a trailer, (laughs) storyboard, picture, little video, uh... I don't know. I gotta see what all I got and, and come up with something, but. Damn a little gamer hog. The puppies messed oh, us. Oh, I love my grandpa. <clears throat> but stay tuned. I don't know when I'm gonna get time to uh, to sit down and look through the videos, but uh, it'll be within the week or two. I'll probably be the last one to get a video up. Uh, got a lot of stuff to do. Bike week's here. So, getting like a half a day's a break. And, um, but it's good video. <laughs> yep. Other than that, uh, meeting, we went to Jake Hacker's house the following day. And, uh, meeting Jake in person, I've talked to him on the phone and emails and Nancy. And it's, uh, it was the exact same as talking to him. And they were very welcoming to us. I mean, that I could have stayed at their house for a week. Yep, they were good people. Um, it, it was just really fun. Me and Jay compared tattoos and stories, and him and Pops doing Navy stories. And yep. the time went by too fast. Same at Mark's house. We we're at Mark's house. We we're there for four hours, and it felt like we were there for thirty minutes. Yep. It's ridiculous how time goes by so fast. Yep. And uh, you know, a week trip gone in the snap of a finger. But I'll tell you what, in in a week's time, we did a lot of shit. Yep. 
I mean, packed it in. You know, left Jake Sunday night, went to Jersey, dropped Nick off, <coughs> departed from Johnny and Smoke and Ricky, said our goodbyes to them, and then uh, we crashed at a Holiday Inn Express, uh, got a little bit of sleep with a crooked neck on some fat-ass pillow, but then started our journey to New York City the following morning with Nick. Manhattan. And got to see New York... Uh, the best way, you know. What a city, man. That New York, Manhattan is just yeah. awesome. And we had kind of sort of negative expectations of the city as we were thinking about going there. You know, oh, is it going to be this good? Let me tell you, they built that city for a guy like me. Um, out of all the big cities I've been to, uh, I would compare it to London and Las Vegas put together and ten times funner. There's just something to do every second, and uh, the variety is is unlimited there. You know, you don't see the same store except for Starbucks on every corner. It's something different everywhere. And the food, oh man, the food was probably some of the best food I've had in my life. Yeah. Uh, Delicatessen, uh, Cats, Cats Deli, Lombardi's Pizza, Tom's Restaurant. I mean. We ate just really good food, street food, uh, pubs. Tom's Restaurant's the Seinfeld restaurant. Yeah. Didn't see George there, but... Didn't um, see Kramer either. Didn't see Kramer. We were hoping to see Elaine so we could get her to do that dance. Yeah, we wanted to see her do the dance, man. <laughs> but um, beautiful, just beautiful city, man. I mean, everywhere you go, it's just something new. And beautiful women. I mean, women from every culture, every style, shape, color. I loved them all. I mean, it was great uh, people watching there. Um, yeah, um, you know, when we were in London, um, a lot of beautiful women in London. Um, what I noticed was in Manhattan, I've never seen so many beautiful Asian women in my whole life. Just beautiful. Everywhere. They they were everywhere, even in Little Italy. We went to Little Italy. Yeah. And, uh, wow. Good times. Good was times. A, was a good time worth, if you ever get a chance, go to Manhattan, man. It's, we got went to, to the Empire State Building. Yep, we experienced all that with uh, the Godfather, One Man Smoke, Salam, and uh, Southern Cross Smoker Carl came all the way from Australia. A uh, trooper of travel right there. Um, you know, I only got to talk with Carl and email and, like, boxer uh, until this trip. And uh, what a true friend. Uh, Stand-up guy. Uh, just one hell of a man. Awesome times. Um, and uh, <laughs> Jeff had been proud of me. Hold on. Should I tell him what, what uh, I did to Carl this morning? Before we left, here's how we said goodbye to Carl. He was in the shower. So I opened the door. I'm like, Carl, get out of the shower. Come shake my hands. So he gets out of the shower naked. And I open the front door, and there's this black lady ready to get into an um, elevator. I'm like, hey, free Australian shots right here. She turns around. <laughs> she sees Carl naked, and he's like, hey, well. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of pranks with me, buddy. No. Carl, awesome dude. Probably put a 1,000 miles on his new boots. Yeah. But, uh, you know, meeting up with Salam again, always a joy. Uh, Salam just can't say enough good about the guy, you know. The godfather. The godfather. He's the godfather of YouTube. Smoke community. Uh, whether you don't believe that or this not. This is our second trip with uh, Salam. And yeah. Wonderful guy. Gets better and better every time. Yep. Uh, what do you say? Epic. Epic. I'm looking forward to the next trip. Uh, you know, we'll we'll probably we will do this trip next year. We'll change it up a little bit. Like to stay a couple of days in Lancaster with Jake, uh, visit with Mark a couple of days, and um, you know, definitely got to go back to New York. Yeah, we got uh, tattoos. Yeah, we got bro to bro tattoos, and we're gonna add to it each year. They're a one skull. is a bulk of that pipe, and one is a, a uh, Hacker pipe. Jake Hacker. Yep, with a skull, the AD design for us. Ah, oh, shit, we got 10 seconds. Look forward to the new videos coming. Yeah, man. See you, YouTube. Bye.